Welcome back again inside of Mission Control Houston, joining us here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room with today's International Space Station update. In terms of the cruise day today, we'll start off with our USOS astronauts. Uh, first off, Joe Acaba returning to some work with uh, the Robonaut today, powering up uh, the robotic crew member on board the station for another series of exercises. This actually a view from Robonaut's helmet cam as he was going through the motions of uh, activating different buttons and switches as they continue to ensure that uh, his hands are uh, checking out and working properly. Following all of these robotic ops, Cabo will be packing Robonaut up for uh, a couple of weeks while they uh, leave him back in storage until they're ready to do another series of tests. Aside from that, he was installing a lab truss contingency jumper, this being done uh, just in case of the event of the loss of power from one of the station's direct current to direct current converter units. Uh, this uh, will allow them to supply power to all of the different loads on the external truss, so just another redundancy measure to make sure this International Space Station is uh, always working even in the case of failures. Moving on, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams earlier this morning completed a pre-spacewalk medical exam. She was joined in that activity by uh, her fellow spacewalker Aki Hoshide as the two prepare to step out of the station's airlock later this week on August 30th for a six and a half hour spacewalk. Aside from that, she was uh, doing some work to highlight radiation research on board the International Space Station with an exploration design challenge. And then she was also doing a few more uh, maintenance activities, setting up a network laptop, and also doing some work on the environmental health system on board the station, doing some uh, sample taking activities from the Total Organic Carbon Analyzer, which uh, helps to give a general indication of the overall water quality of these astronauts uh, and what they're drinking by indicating the potential presence of any hazardous chemicals. Meanwhile, Aki Hoshide again did that uh, pre-spacewalk medical exam earlier this morning along with Williams and also uh, helped her out in that ex exploration design challenge. And he was also moving through the procedures for this Thursday's spacewalk and uh, updating all of the plans uh, in conjunction with teams here down on the ground. He'll also be taking some time to inspect and clean all of the USOS segment hatch seals, then take a few dust samples from inside of the Japanese experiment module. Meanwhile, our Russian cosmonaut starting off with Commander Padalka, who was doing an orthostatic stability evaluation. Orthostatic referring to uh, when the body is in an upright position. This study looking to see how microgravity uh, affects the body's distribution of fluids and uh, the objective of this study, which is one of many biological studies on board the station, looking to uh, predict any orthostatic intolerance, which uh, in a little bit easier words is the ability for these astronauts to stand upright after they've spent uh, long periods of time in a weightless environment. He was also doing some routine replacement work for different components inside of the Russian toilet system. Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin joined Padalka in that orthostatic stability evaluation and was also doing an on-orbit hearing assessment. These astronauts are uh, often serving as guinea pigs for many of these uh, biological experiments on the human body looking to gauge uh, the response to long duration periods of microgravity. And then our final uh, Expedition 32 crew member Yuri Malenchenko replacing a relay adapter inside of the Russian Zarya module. And also, a little bit later today, he'll be reviewing some of the robotic procedures alongside with NASA astronaut Joe Acaba as he looks to stand by and support for this upcoming U.S. spacewalk.